like I say, in the span of forever also. See, because of the fact that I created stars and suns and 800 galaxies and everything else, and also the human life form type, which is technically an inside-out exoskeleton for the first time ever, which, like I said, you are not naturally occurring. This is not, this is not, this is not natural. These white teeth, your white bones, it's not natural. Your eyeballs, nothing about you, about, about how you're made, this is not, there, there is no connection to the past. There, there, I mean, we did have somewhat sentient monkeys but, and all that other stuff, but there is no connection really between, there is no evolution that will get you to this state. You don't evolve to basically, uh, that's not evolution. There's no amount of, of time or effort, uh, time that, 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 that can ever make what you are, you. The, the, you know, the, the, they even tried it with, with insects and, and, and other things. I mean, and they've tried to, to prove evolution. It doesn't work. There is no random mutations that will lead to basically human, your life form type. Exoskeleton somewhat, but not really. And plus, not to mention with all the radiation and everything else, I mean, the time it takes to go from a single-celled organism to anything else, and it really doesn't happen. So anyway, so anyway, um, and, and there's other stuff like, like, like in the 1930s or 1940s, 1950s, I had the very first VR pro project, which was actually done by Germany or China. I forget exactly who did it, but basically it was for soldiers. Well, I was doing it for the public. Because, because, you know, everyone wants to play with guns and all that other stuff. And it was, it was really cheesy, and it didn't work very good, and all that other stuff. But basically, it was, it was pretty much a helmet, and basically had the tracking. We were working on the tracking software. We are, the, the, the same tracking software that, that basically goes into the gun mount on the, uh, on the, on the, um, <laughs> on the, on, on the, on the Apache. It's kind of funny, but Blue Thunder, the movie, that was my helicopter, and I wa really wanted that for real. <laughs> <laughs> they were saying that it was nose heavy too much, so they had to move the cannon back. But 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 I wanted it up there on the nose. <laughs> that was all real. That little demonstration that, that 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 the guy did with with the gun and everything else like that. They actually built that helicopter. Of course, I am Lucifer Star. More than just more than just just a person. When I say I want a gunship, I get a gunship, and so. <laughs> they actually built a real a real working model for the movie, but they wouldn't let. It, uh, the, the, uh, the, I don't. I think they destroyed it or something like that. Or it was too. It was. It, it, somebody. Somebody regarded it as national security and top secret, uh, or or something like that. Once once it once it was built because like I mean it was really fucking cool too because it really worked with the it tracked. They used sensors and everything, and four sensors on the helmet, and we were really working it out. We actually built the thing. They actually built the thing. It's like, yeah, they did. Anyway, yeah. I, <laughs> it's where movies and, 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 and the military came together. <laughs> I'm the president of America. Or owner of America. So, anyway. Um, I'm the, you know, I'm the American leader. And also the, I was also the German leader. You know, so... And I led Russia a little bit, you know, but it's like, mm, for, for Mother Russia, you know, or Father Russia, whatever. They used to say Father Russia, whatever, for Russia. I, like I say, I know what Russia did. I know how much they sacrificed to clean up the, 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 the nuclear, nuclear damage. I know how they fought, and I know how they died. And so I have very, a lot of respect for Russia. I would never ever doubt Russia's integrity, nor would I ever doubt Russia's resolve to, to go in and get the job done. They, <laughs> they at times made me cry because, because like I say, I asked why. You know, but Russia, but Russia, you know, hero in Russia has a different meaning than 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 than, than hero in most other in most other countries. You know, and and I, <laughs> and I would per, and I would literally punch other heroes. You know, no, you don't stand up to the heroes of Russia. Those people were heroes. They they worked until they literally fell. 
literally. So, anyway, like I said, like I say, compared to Russia, you are all weak. Just get over it. You will never stand up to to the great Russian Russian army, like 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 for what they have done and the sacrifices they have made. They have made some serious, serious, insane sacrifices where, you know, these other people just crying and going, why did they have to be so noble? Why did they have to be so good? You know, because then they're dying. You know, and they knew they were going to die. Anyway, like I said, it makes, still makes me teary-eyed and makes me, you know, that's why I got so angry at JFK and Nixon and some of the American people or some of the, some of the United States Congress people. You know, I was ready to rip out throats, literally, because it was like, you know, compared to what they, those other people did, cleaning up their mess, cleaning up the U.S.'s mess. You know, America and the U.S., mostly, mostly the U.S. made a mess of everything. And Russia and the other countries had to clean it up. And so they sacrificed and they gave their lives. Anyway. Whatever. Enough about that. Anyway, though, but in 19, whatever, 1950s, we did a VR simulation so people, soldiers could go with a gun. And it was like $3 million or $30 million or $60 million, but it was the first of its kind and basically was a VR simulation. And it never really got used that much because, because they just had paintball and you could just use paintball. But, you know, it was still kicking around. And it's probably what, what, what eventually they, they started using because um, with higher technology level, it, it, it would have been more, it would have been a lot more simple and a lot easier. But we didn't have the technology level quite back then. But now we do. So anyway, and, and that's what all the VR and, and all the other stuff is based on, is basically that early 1940s, 1950s research. You know, and the, and the huge amount of time and effort that it took to, to basically work everything out down there. A lot of the new stuff is just revamping the old stuff, so, which is still a lot. But anyway, whatever. You know, and things like, like a gold and titanium shark that, that, that was for the Jaws movie that was built in like 19 or 1800 or something like that, which disappeared and probably got melted down for its gold or silver value. <laughs> it was stupidly, but whatever. It was gorgeous. And it was built in like 1200 or 1300 or 1500 or something like that. Anyway, oh well, whatever. It's in the past. 